See? It's been for them. Mama said, I'm going to punch some foot of freeze in Europe. Yeah, tell like it. <laughs> Sponsor that chicken, brother. <laughs> Hey guys, welcome back to another video. I don't know it's them. Here today with another vlog going on the road today. I have my friends here today, guys. They are fresh from the beautiful island of Jamaica into this beautiful northern Alberta weather. Kevin Williams. Yes, doing great, doing great. <laughs> so, of course, guys, um, Kevin is straight from Jamaica and his beautiful wife, who is looking like an Eskimo in the backseat. <laughs> Uh, they are getting adjusted to the you know the conditions of northern alberta you guys have seen it so many times um in different different videos it's going to minus 29 but with the wind chill feels a little bit like minus 35 i'm trying not to be stuck on snow <laughs> okay yeah we are good to go yeah so we're going to go on the road um about to start out your sin numbers and See if we can get any other business done today. So of course you know the thing you know guys you know, just make sure to smash a like on the video um, Subscribe to the channel and we will to 3,000 subscribers Happy 2022 if this is the first time you see my face and yeah, I could just follow vibes today. All right guys See you guys in the next week Yeah guys, so we're currently going to service Canada to start out this um, social insurance number. So how's it feel? Feel cool? Nah, as long as you still wear that one. As long as you still Yeah, guys. Thank you so much. Thank you. Welcome to Canada. Them clothes, bro. Yeah, guys. So, Service Canada is actually closed. And um, if you guys are wondering what Service Canada is, Service Canada is pretty much the tax office of Canada. Uh, where you get your TRN. Where you get your... <laughs> all of those stuff you'd come right here but guess what some of the services are divided between service canada and the license center the license center is where you'll get like a driver's license your id and stuff like that um so you'd have to know what to get here service canada you can get also like a passport a canadian passport and if like for example you have to do biometric and stuff this is where you come and do it so anything regards to cross that line with like canadian immigration and stuff you come to Service Canada because your social insurance number is what you'd use to get a job, to get a loan, to get a phone, to get every single thing. Um, in other words, that's how them track you. But unfortunately, it's close today, so we're just gonna we're just gonna go back home because um, today is actually Monday, um, January third. But here in Alberta, it's really observed as New Year's Day. But Google told you that it would be open, so Google check out to yourself. All right.
Okay guys, so one of the biggest things most persons are always wondering about is if you're coming from a tropical country, how do you adapt to a, a winter condition? So as someone who just learned straight from Jamaica, bro, what was that first um, impact was like in terms of coming in contact with like the weather? What was that like? Well, we were prepared because we have family living in the US and then we have them who advise us that we need a winter coat but coming from Jamaica not enough puff, um, preparation <laughs> can prepare you for this trust me especially when we came out the airport yeah we had to walk on the strip mm -hmm. and it was a horrible experience for me and my wife but basically had on our clothes but we weren't fully just because we believe that we're, we're gonna go directly in the airport but no <laughs> we had to walk on the strip outside where it was snowing and so, <laughs> so um is it like worse than what you expected or is it like better than what you expected in terms that you think you can manage it or what, what would you say it is like well well it's worse than expected because uh, um experiencing snow in connecticut I thought that if you have on the proper gear, you'll be okay, but nah, <laughs> nah. Tell, what about you? Like, what do you think? Oh, should I take off our Eskimo suit? <laughs> um, well, I have never experienced snow at mm -hmm. all. So, um, when I saw a negative 40 and negative 30, I had nightmares. Uh -huh. But when I came here and I actually experienced it, I realized that something that I could get used to. Okay. Yeah. So is it the kind of snow that you can um oh by the way yeah we're gonna throw in the snow angel clip right here. Yeah. Ah. <laughs> <laughs> I snow now like but then I don't know if I'm gonna feel yeah It's been video. Mama must have run up on some footage freeze in Europe. Ah, what is this? By the way, it wasn't me screaming. <laughs> so is it the same type of snow you you like when you watch movies and yeah, you see you see those nice little walking around in their nice little winter jackets and like making their snowman and there's no fights and making snow angels and stuff, or is it like worse? Um, it's it's worse. <laughs> um, yeah. It's worse. Yeah, because in the movies they make it seem like a fairy tale. Yeah. <laughs> yeah so look a fake snow I blow here and yeah, there. Yeah. <laughs> when you experience it, it's really cold. Oh, okay, 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 okay. Oh, whoa! I'm about to run a red light. <laughs> what is this? <laughs> <laughs> oh, <come on. laughs> you can't in our catch me. <laughs> yeah, guys. So I'm not sure, guys. Um, I'm always telling people, listen, don't be, don't be afraid of being cold, right? No. A lot of persons choose not to come to Canada, including friends of ours. We have friends who are saying that, oh man, it's too cold. I don't think I can manage. But the truth of the matter is, guys, you have to just make sacrifice for for what you want for your future, right? No, it's just something that is totally different than Jamaica because persons here, if they go to Jamaica, they're gonna say it's too hot. So um, it's just to make an adjustment. You get the right gears, you get the right stuff, and then gradually you become climatized, pretty much as how it is, right? But as someone who just followed from Jamaica, guys, um, small can tell you guys that listen, this is better than Jamaica, I irrespective of how cool it is. I'm not lying. Yeah, uh, you're not lying. That's basically everything even the service we were shocked when we ordered food and we got something in five minutes and they were saying that that's <laughs> it wasn't five minutes it was around <laughs> ten minutes <laughs> all right, all right. <laughs> but in jamaica you're waiting for an hour for your meal and they normally come out one by one with everyone okay so, so you said like probably the customer service is way better it's way better the environment I actually feel really safe really safe by and we're, space we're at a stoplight mm -hmm. and nobody in a rush to windscreen. And true. And, true. <laughs> and you don't hear any horns. I haven't hear, heard a horn since I came to Canada. And by a space eater, you're gonna need it. <laughs> <laughs>
Well, on that note, guys, see you guys in the next clip. <laughs> so, Chantal, you have family in Jamaica, right? Yeah. You're here by yourself. You're pretty much with your husband. Um, we have met before, definitely, but um, like Kevin and I, we work, work out from like childhood days and all that. So technically, you don't know anybody, pretty much. Yeah. You're just getting to know everybody. How is it moving to a new country, not knowing anyone, not knowing what to expect, and stuff like that? What would you say that process is like? What what advice would you have to give to somebody who is afraid of making that step? Well, um, well, having someone here with me. My husband, Kevin, um, has made it easier. Say that again, my husband. My husband. <laughs> <laughs> um, and you guys too have definitely made it easier. Um, for persons who don't have any friends, um, it's always good to reach out to persons um, at, the, at your school. Could make friends um, because even me, for example, um, I'm shy. Um, but I have made some friends. <laughs> I have actually made some friends in class and they reached out and gave me their numbers and uh, um, told me that if I need um, any help or anything, I can reach out to them. So you can always make friends through your school. Yeah, and I have to second that. Networking, and I always tell people, networking is very important, guys. Like when you're moving to a new country, um, it's not as easy as you might think um, it is. It's a very, very, very um, difficult um, process because you're coming to a country that everything is different than what you would have known right so um when you come and you don't know anybody that can be very very challenging so networking and creating the right the, the, not just networking but creating the right networks is very important guys so as Chantal just said guys try and reach out to as many persons as you can some persons might give you a yes some persons might give you a no but don't let that be a reason why you don't continue to reach out because at the end of the day persons who are here already are in a better position to tell you the best way to integrate right like as you guys would have seen in our previous video nuts and i we we almost got scammed what's up oh we almost got scammed um when we just moved there because uh, we, we didn't really know what to expect and we were really not even expecting scamming in canada but then we realized that canada is a scamming capital of the world <laughs> you understand so for stuff like that you definitely want to reach out to as many persons as you can to make your transition easier. Yeah, I'll some food and so Yes, guys, Demar is on <laughs> shovel duty today. <laughs> Say hi to the people down there. <laughs> Say hi to everyone. Yay. What's the temperature, babes? Last you checked. Minus 30. <laughs> it feels like minus 40. Oh. I'm just here for support. <laughs> I can't manage to, to, to shovel so much snow. Right. You're doing good, babes. Hmm? You're doing good. It's clean enough. Well, this is where my support ends. I'm going back inside. Oh. Yeah. <laughs> I'm going back inside. It's getting very cold. I can't stay. Okay. Start that one. Mm-hmm. I saw what you know.
Yeah, Gayan, down up here. Yes. I'm only going to sit down. Malika. Miles William Garden. Tell William Garden.